Okay, so in this video we're going to have a look at how you can make subtotals from your list views. So if we go to the parts list, okay, and for this demo we've just got a few different parts in here but they've got the same name. So you can see you've got green beads, red beads, silver hook, then green beads again, red beads, green beads, red beads, and the same name but just because they're different sizes here. So you may want to do a quantity and see what you've actually got for a part that's got the same name. So the way that you do that First thing you need to do is just sort the group that you want. So you make sure they're all together. So now we have green beads, all our red beads, and this odd silver hook at the end. Then we click back into here and we add trailing group by name. And we can see that's now added a column underneath, or a row, sorry, underneath each of the groups. And then you go to the column that you actually want to have a total for. And we click in here and we add trailing subtotals, total sum, quantity and stock. And we can see now, so we've got a total, so of our different types of green beads, we've got a total of 39 of those in stock. Our different types of red beads, 169 of those in stock. And we just have one uh, purchase of silver hooks, so we have 24 of those in stock. So now if you have subtotals like that, you can do other things with this. So you could print this list, so you could go up here to print it, or you could export that and that's information that you can then take for your purchases when you're going to uh, shopping or to go and buy new purchases for your inventory.